Hello YouTube and welcome to 5 Facts About Fire. Number 1. The Fire Triangle. The fire triangle shows that oxygen, fuel and heat are needed to start a fire. Without one of these components a fire will never be lit. Have you ever wondered how a matchstick lights up? Well, to turn on a matchstick you definitely need all of the three components mentioned in the fire triangle. Oxygen is present in air, and the fuel would be the tip of the match, because it is the thing that will be set on fire. The final component heat is generated when the head of the matchstick is dragged along the striker of the matchbox. That is how it lights up. To stop a fire all you have to do is remove one of these components. For example, covering a fire with a fire blanket prevents oxygen from coming into contact with the fuel and the flame will be extinguished. When it comes to fire extinguishers, there are many different types, and they extinguish a flame in a different way. For example, a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher will replace the oxygen near the fuel because it is more dense. Therefore a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher stops a fire by removing the oxygen. A water fire extinguisher stops a fire by removing heat. There are other types of fire extinguishers including aqueous film forming foam fire extinguishers. It is also important to know which fire extinguisher should be used. When there is an electrical fire, a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher should be used. Water fire extinguishers are more ideal when organic materials, such as clothing fabrics and office papers, are set on fire. Number 2. A blue flame is hotter than a yellow flame. Did you know that the blue flame is hotter than the yellow flame? In fact, when using the Bunsen burner, chemicals are always heated using the blue flame. The hottest part of the blue flame is the middle part. A blue flame is always produced when there is complete combustion. Combustion is when something is set on fire. A complete combustion occurs when something is set on fire with plenty of oxygen present. When there is less oxygen present, incomplete combustion takes place and a yellow flame is produced. Number 3. Colored Flames Who would have guessed that a flame can have more colors than just yellow and blue? A colored flame is produced when a compound containing a metal is placed inside the flame. Different metals produce different colors. For example a compound containing potassium will give a lilac flame. This technique is used by forensic scientists to determine what chemicals were present in a crime scene. Compounds present at the scene of the crime will be collected and sent to the forensic lab for testing. Number 4. Fire can suffocate. Ever wondered why in movies people start to cough and suffocate when there is a fire? One of the products of a fire is carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide is released in air, there will be less oxygen available to breathe and therefore people will start to suffocate. Number 5. A fire with a yellow flame produces carbon monoxide. When incomplete combustion takes place carbon monoxide is released. Carbon monoxide is known as a silent killer because it is a very dangerous gas without a color or a smell. Carbon monoxide can kill an individual without them even knowing. When this gas is inhaled in our lungs, it goes into our blood instead of oxygen, and the body would not be able to carry out respiration. Ovens can be a source of carbon monoxide and therefore they should never be used as a replacement to a heater. They should only be used to heat food. Barbecue grills should only be used outside the house for a similar reason related to carbon monoxide poisoning. Did you learn something new today? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. You can check other interesting facts by clicking on one of the videos shown in the middle of the screen. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.